Welcome to the Folks Learn. Today we will learn how to publish an application in Visual Studio. Click once in the deployment technology that enables you to create self-updating Windows-based applications that can be installed and run with minimal user interaction. Visual Studio provides full support for publishing and updating applications deployed with ClickOnce technology if you have developed your projects with Visual Basic and Visual C Sharp. A ClickOnce application is any Windows presentation foundation, Windows Forms, console application, or office solution published using ClickOnce technology. You can publish a ClickOnce application in three different ways, from a web page, from a network file share, or from media such as a CD-ROM. A ClickOnce application can be installed on an end-user's computer and run locally even when the computer is offline, or it can be run in an online-only mode without permanently installing anything on the end-user's computer. ClickOnce applications can be self-updating. They can check for newer versions as they become available and automatically replace any updated files. The developer can specify the update behavior. A network administrator can also control update strategies, for example, marking an update as mandatory. Updates can also be rolled back to an earlier version by the end user or by an administrator. You can choose either before or after application starts option to control the user experience. The application should check for updates to control if this deployment would receive any updates to the products when published to the publishing location. .NET Framework is a prerequisite for .NET application to run on client machine which does not have .NET Framework installed. When installing this application, Click once checks to see if Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 is not installed and installs it. Eliminate the extra steps needed otherwise to download and install the .NET Framework 4.5 to the client machines. The core Click once deployment architecture is based on two XML manifest files, an application manifest and a deployment manifest. The application manifest describes the application itself. This includes the assemblies, the dependencies and files that make up the application, the required permissions, and the location where updates will be available. The application developer authors the application manifest by using the Publish Wizard in Visual Studio or the Manifest Generation tool in the Windows Software Development Kit. The deployment manifest describes how the application is deployed. This includes the location of the application manifest, and the version of the application that client should run. An administrator authors the deployment manifest using the manifest generation tool in the Windows SDK. When designing a ClickOnce application, you have to determine which strategy the application will use to check for available updates. There are three basic strategies that you can use, checking for updates on application startup, checking for updates after application startup or providing a user interface for updates. ClickOnce provides two ways to update an application once it is deployed. In the first method, you can configure the ClickOnce deployment to check automatically for updates at certain intervals. In the second method, you can write code that uses the application deployment class to check for updates based on an event, such as a user request.
Click One can provide automatic application updates. A Click One's application periodically reads its deployment manifest file to see whether updates to the application are available. If available, the new version of the application is downloaded and run. For efficiency, only those files that have changed are downloaded. You can install IIS by clicking Windows Features and Advanced Options under Programs in Control Panel. Thank you for watching this video.